Three old Philly Trotters behind the gate moving up. Matron stakes, 141,000. They're off on the outside. There goes Blonde Bombshell out for the lead. Also moving out is help for the season as they make their way toward the first turn. On the far outside, moving up a bit is Call Me Goo. Down toward the inside now. Into fourth is Instagram Model. And then it's another two lanes back. Quick stop, followed by the trailers. Heaven Hanover, and at the end, that's Angelpedia. They make their way around the first turn on their way toward the opening quarter. Call Me Goo up on the outside to get the lead from help for the season. Opening quarter was 28 seconds as they make their way by the stands on their way toward the half. Call Me Goo. Help of the season races in second, getting away third, Blom Bombshell, two in front of Instagram Model. Then it's Quick Stop, followed by Heaven Hanover, and at the end, that's Angelpedia. They make their way into the clubhouse, turn on the way toward the half, and up front, leading by length and a half, Call Me Goo. That's help of the season, back in second. Racing third as they go by the half is Blonde Bombshell. Quick Stop comes to the outside now from fourth. Following that move will be Heaven Hanover. Down inside is Instagram Model, and at the end, it continues to be Angelpedia. They went by the half, 57 and one fifth. They race up the back stretch now. Call me Goo, a length and a half lead. Quick stop races up on the outside. Help of the season sitting in third outside. Heaven and Hanover toward the rail. That's Blonde Bombshell. After the Angel Pedia and down inside the trail, Instagram model. Field races into that final turn. They go by three quarters in 125 and two fifths as they make their way midway on the final turn. And it's still Call Me Goo. Quick stop on the outside. Dropping back now. Help of the season as they come over toward the top of the stretch. They're ready to turn for home with Call Me Goo and Dexter Dunn pulling away. They open up three, four lanes coming through the stretch. Call Me Goo. Quick stop second. Down the inside. Help of the season. They come toward the wire. Call Me Goo is in front. Call Me Goo. Quick stop. And help of the season in 153 and 2. Three old Colton Gelling Trotters behind the gate moving up. Matron stakes. 127,000. They're off center of the racetrack. There goes Point of Perfect out for the lead. Also moving out is Case on Road. Down toward the inside. Moving up a bit is Herodotus. Taking back Dire Straits. Gets away fourth. Down inside. Moving up is Calderon. Outside of Calderon, the Gruffalo. Then comes Air Power and way back and out of it. After a break is Gaines Hanover. They make their way over toward the opening quarter and coming out on top, point of perfect over Quezon Road. Opening quarter was 27 and one fifth as they trot by the stands and up front leading is point of perfect by about two and a half lengths. Quezon Road got away second, racing third. That's Hero Dottis. Down inside, Dire Straits up on the outside. Quickly here comes Air Power. And then comes Calderon. To the outside is the Gruffalo. Way back is Gaines Hanover. They make their way into the clubhouse, turn on the way over toward the half, and Point of Perfect is on top. Racing in second, Quezon Road. Coming to the outside, Dire Straits. Three wide now, somehow, is Air Power. 57 seconds for the half. They head over toward the back stretch. Point of Perfect opens up now by two and a half lengths. Racing in second is Quezon Road, right alongside Dire Straits. Go down three wide air power down inside. Nowhere to go right now for Hero Dottis. Between horses, Calderon. Then comes the Gruffalo. And way back after a problem, Gaines Hunter made that early break. Three quarters in 124 and four fifths, 27 and four fifths on that third quarter. And the leader by a length and a half is Point of Perfect. Waiting for race room now. Case on road. Dire Straits is on the outside. Calderon trying to go three wide. And they're at the top of the stretch now. They turn for home, and Point of Perfect comes off the turn on top. It's Point of Perfect. Down the inside, Quezon Road on the far outside, Calderon. They come toward the wire, Calderon on the outside. Dire Straits is there, 3-4 on the wire. They come to the finish, holding on. I believe Point of Perfect in 155. 3 old Philly Pacers behind the gate, moving up matron stakes. 117,000. There, there goes Square Deal from the outside, trying for lead toward the inside, moving up is Zanata. Right up alongside comes McSeaside. Now McSeaside drops in there second, up into third comes Twin B, Joe Fresh. Caught outside early now is always be naughty toward the inside, wreck time. Then comes Vivian's Dream, followed by Beach Cowgirl, and back to last goes Square Deal after trying to leave. They make their way by the opening quarter. In 27 seconds flat, they race by the stands, and up front, Mc Zanata's got the lead over McSeaside. Another two lanes, Twin B, Joe Fresh. Then comes Wreck Time, who got away fourth, racing in fifth, Always Be Naughty. Then is Vivian's Dream, followed by Square Deal in the trailer now, is Beach Cowgirl. Field races into the clubhouse, turn on the way toward the half. 
and Zanata's on top by a length and a half. McSee's side got away second. Twin B. Joe Fresh is third. Moving to the outside, always be naughty from fifth into fourth. They make their way by the half, 55 and one fifth. They continue on the turn on the way toward the back stretch. Zanata on top a length and a half. McSee side is there. Twin B. Joe Fresh is third. And coming to the outside is Twin B. Joe Fresh. Following will be always be naughty toward the inside. That's wreck time. Then it's Vivian's Dream, followed by Square Deal. And Beach Cowgirl is the trailer. They race into that final turn now, approaching three quarters. Zanata being joined by Twin B. Joe Fresh down inside McSee's side. Always be naughty follows from fourth, three quarters. 122 and three fifths. They make their way over toward the top of the stretch. Going right by and taking a two length lead is Twin B. Joe Fresh and Dexter Dunn. They come off the turn that way. And Twin B. Joe Fresh is widening the three or four lanes, coming through the stretch into second. Always be naughty farther out. McSee's side got loose. They come toward the wire. Twin B. Joe Fresh, McSee side, races up in the second, back third, always be naughty. Rec time fourth, 150 and three fifths. Three year old Colt Pacers behind the eight, moving up. The Hap Hansen matron stake, 170,000. They're off center of the racetrack. There goes Cannibal out for that lead. Moving up between horses there, Ken Hanover up the inside comes Fulton. El Rey got away fourth, racing on the outside. Confederate not going to take a hold, going to drive on, I believe. They make their way around the turn. The trailers on that turn are Hungry Angry Boy and Hungry Angel Boy and Redwood Hanover. They make their way over toward the opening quarter and up to get the lead is Cannibal. Cannibal's on top. Confederate back to the outside, was inside briefly. 26 and one fifth. Field races by the stands now on the way toward the halfway mark and Cannibal is on top. Here comes Confederate with a rush on the outside to take the lead. Cannibal back to second. That's Ken Hanover back to third, racing fourth, Fulton. Behind Fulton is El Rey. After that comes the trailers. Hungry Angel Boy and Redwood Hanover. They make their way over toward the half. Confederate is on top. It's about a length and a half. Cannibal back to second. Racing in third, that's Ken Hanover. Down inside, Fulton is fourth. Racing fifth, El Rey. After that comes Hungry Angel Boy, followed by the trailer, Redwood Hanover. 54 and three-fifths, Confederate. Races up the back stretch on the way toward three quarters, leading by a length and a half over Cannibal. Ken Hanover coming to the outside. El Ray follows through the inside is Fulton. After that comes Hungry Angel Boy, and at the end, Redwood Hanover. They go into that far turn, and it's Confederate three parts of a lane. Ken Hanover getting closer. They go by three quarters, 122 and one fifth. Confederate still there by about a length. It's Confederate. Ken Hanover, a rough trip outside. Down inside is Cannibal, three wide attempt. From El Rey, they come toward the top of the stretch now, and Confederate turns for home with the lead. It's Confederate by two lanes. Racing in second. That's Cannibal down the passing lane, coming through the stretch. It's Confederate on top with Cannibal down the rail. Nobody beats Confederate. Confederate's in front. Cannibal and tight for third. Ken Hanover, 149 flat.